Hi, and welcome to another vlog on South Africa. This time I'm featuring the incredible city of Cape Town, where I got to spend almost two months the past summer. Being in between jobs, I had some time on hand and decided to volunteer at the Backpackers Hostel in Cape Town. This was the ideal opportunity to get fully immersed in the city and explore all there is to do and see in Cape Town. Cape Town is located in the Western Cape province, on the southwestern tip of South Africa. It is one of South Africa's three capital cities, and after Johannesburg, the largest city in the country. Cape Town has a long coastline along the Atlantic Ocean, making it essentially a port city, with one of the busiest ports in Southern Africa. The oldest part of Cape Town's harbor has been turned into a major tourist attraction, the V&A waterfront which contains many shops, restaurants, bars, and a lot of public art. It's a happening place with open-air markets and live music in the weekends. And you can also admire the coming and going of ships and the many fancy yachts. Following the shoreline to the west, you come into the neighborhoods of Greenpoint and Seapoint, full of hotels, green space, and long promenades along the sea. This is probably the most desired and expensive part of Cape Town, with most houses looking out over the Atlantic Ocean. It's a nice place to visit, and around sunset you'll find many people strolling along the promenade, admiring the beautiful views over the ocean. For the real beaches, you have to head a little further south, to Clifton or Camps Bay. There are several nice sandy beaches with clear blue waters. Swimming is possible, but the sea is quite rough and very cold too, all year round. But the high waves are ideal for surfing. Many other outdoor sports can be practiced in Cape Town too. The city is a real paradise for sportive people and adrenaline junkies. From the top of Signal Hill, Many paragliders take off every day, floating in the sky over the shoreline. Tiana and me did an afternoon of zip lining, which was also very cool. The most amazing thing about Cape Town for me was the presence of the high mountains, right in the city center. These are such a striking feature and a dramatic backdrop to the city. Closest to the ocean, there are Signal Hill and Lion's Head each of them offering really nice hiking and a beautiful view over the ocean and the rest of the city. And then there is of course the iconic Table Mountain, towering above the entire city, visible from anywhere in town. During my stay in Cape Town, I climbed the mountain several times, from different sides on different routes. The easiest route is the so-called Platte Clip Gorge, a straightforward trail zigzagging up the mountain. It's still quite a hike and it might take you a few hours to get to the top. For those who are not that fit, there's also a cable cart. In any case, the views from the top are truly amazing. Table Mountain's name comes, of course, from its peculiar flat top. Originally, the mountain was much higher, but over the course of millions of years, erosion weathered away the softer top parts of the mountain, leaving behind just a plateau of the very hard sandstone layer. The mountain is massive, and there are many other routes to ascend. One of the other climbs I made was to Devil's Peak, on the eastern edge of the Table Mountain Plateau. 
The hike up there is quite steep and challenging and there are some tricky parts over narrow ridges with a high drop on the side. My favorite hike in Cape Town was the Skeleton Gorge Trail, which starts on the south face of the mountain and climbs up through a lush green gorge with waterfalls and little streams. The path is really quite steep and there are several ladders. On the top you'll find two large artificial lakes built as reservoirs for drinking water for the city. From here you can hike across the top of Table Mountain to get to the north side. It's a long but beautiful walk through green surroundings with many amazing viewpoints. mountain range, which is made up by Signal Hill, Lion's Head and Table Mountain, form almost a complete circle, within the middle the city center of Cape Town, also called the City Bowl because of its shape. Cape Town city center is a lively, busy area with always something going on. There are several big markets, lots of beautiful street art and a bustling nightlife scene. The public transport also works surprisingly well. There is an extensive network of buses which run on time and are an efficient and cheap way to get around the city. The architecture in the city center is a mix of fancy modern skyscrapers and old colonial buildings. The city has a long eventful history and over time it has become a melting pot of many cultures and ethnicities. But more about Cape Town's history in the next vlog. Thanks for watching.